Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to define and explain the properties of the soil based on the phase diagram of the soil. So this is the basic phase diagram of the soil. Phase diagram of soil. It is one of the important diagram to understand the different properties of the soil. So the different properties of the soil include the water content, the wide ratio, the porosity, the porosity, the degree of saturation, the percentage air whites and air content in the soil. We will, we will define these different properties of the soil based on this phase diagram. So this is the general phase diagram of the soil where we have the solids here, the main part, then the water content in the soil and then the air content in the soil. So the soil is always uh, these three components. Now the weight is represented here on the left side and here on the right side we have the volume of the different components of the soil. So on the weight side we have the solid weight so it is represented by WS, the water weight so it is represented by WW and the weight of the air represented here is WA. Now in the case of the volume we, all, we also here is volume of the air represented by VA, volume of the water by VW in the volume of the solids represented by Vs. Similarly, the volume of the air and water is known as the volume of the whites. So volume of the whites means it is the combination of volume of air and volume of the water. So this is known as the volume of the whites and solid volume is as um, is, is simple as like Vs is which is the volume of the solids. And the total volume of all of these is V which is equal to the volume of the air, volume of the water, and volume of the solids. So now to define these different properties of the soil, first taking the water content of the soil. So here, the water content represented by W. So it is how to define this uh, related to the phase diagram of the soil. So water content is equal to the WW weight of the water divided by the weight of the solids. So if you know the weight of the water in our soil which is WW this one dividing by the weight of the solids here which is weight of the solid here. So by dividing these two quantities we will get the water content of the soil. You can then multiply it with the hundreds, you will get the water content in percentage. Now, the second one is the, here is the wide ratio. How to find out the wide ratio of the soil? If you know the phase diagram of the soil, so wide ratio is equal to the volume of the whites divided by the volume of the solid. So volume of the whites, as I mentioned before, it is volume of the air and water. So we can write it here, volume of the air and volume of the water is volume of the whites and here the volume of the solid. So we'll find the white ratio for the salt sample. Now the third one is the air content. How to find the air content in the soil sample. So it's represented by AC air content and it is equal to the volume of the air dividing by the volume of the whites. So the volume of the air is VA and volume of the whites is the combination of air and the water. So VA divided by the VA plus VV, VW which is volume of the air and whites. So dividing these two quantities we will find out the volume, the air content of the soil sample. Now the fourth one is the degree of saturation. This is one of the important property of the soil how to find out the degree of saturation if we know the uh, phase diagram of the soil so it is equal to the volume of the water divided by the volume of the whites so it is the volume of the whites here so volume of the water is here this one vw divided by volume of the whites which is the combination of volume of air and volume of water. This is always the combination of both volume of air and volume of water. 
So here volume of air and volume of water. So by this we can find out the degree of saturation. Then we multiply it with the 100. So we will get the degree of saturation in percentage. And mostly it is represented in percentage. The fifth one is the porosity. Porosity of the soil are simple. So how to define this? So porosity is equal to the volume of two wires divided by the volume, the total volume, multiplying it with the 100. So again, volume of the wires, we know the, that volume of the wires is equal to the combination of volume of air and water, dividing by the total volume of the soil sample, multiplying it with the 100%, so we will get the porosity of the soil sample. The last one is the, is the percentage air wides. Percentage air wides. So how to find this one? Which is represented by in A. So it is equal to the, the percentage air wide is equal to the volume of the air divided by the total volume. Multiplying it with the 100. Because it is expressed in the percentage. So volume of air is again is known to us which is this one and volume is the total volume of the soil sample which is the combination of volume of air, volume of water and volume of solids. So hope you guys understand the different properties of the soil. Uh, if we have the phase diagram of the soil then we can know about the different properties of the soil sample. Hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.